live in a world where we are constantly being flooded with new beauty trends and ideas for switching up our makeup and skincare routine on a daily basis. Today, we're learning all about a new way to up our beauty routine by using essential oils. Emily Paulson is an essential oils expert, and she's joining us in the studio today to share some ways we can benefit by adding essential oils to our everyday beauty routine. Welcome. Thanks, Brittany. Thanks for having me back. Thanks for coming in. I'm excited to learn about this because yeah. I like to learn about ways you can incorporate things that kind of get you away from the toxins. So mm -hmm. what really are the benefits for mm -hmm. incorporating essential oils? Yeah, well, fragrance is a really big toxin and that's found in a lot of beauty products because we love the smell of it, but it is very toxic for our hormones, it's toxic for our skin, it's toxic for our immune system. So using pure essential oils that don't have anything adulterated, any synthetics added to it, is a way to have that aroma, but also like more skin benefits because fragrance doesn't give any benefits to your skin. And so I love using essential oils for DIY skin serums. Well, let's get into it because you have a glow up <clears throat> skin serum yes. recipe that you wanna walk us through. So what yeah. is in this serum? Yes, so in this serum, we have five drops each of rose and Should blue tansy. Should I put them in here? Sure, yep. In this one? Yep, okay. in that one. Yep, um, and rose is like known for skin health. Any floral oil is gonna be super feminine. It's really amazing for skin. It's really restorative. Blue tansy is extra hydrating. So it's one that I love adding to my face moisturizer too, if I just have really dry skin in the winter. Rose is a, is a slower drip, so. I was like, <laughs> it's not coming. <laughs> Three, is four, coming out? five. Yeah. But once it starts, it's there. good. Yes. <laughs> Um, and then Madagascar vanilla is what we're gonna add. It has a really sweet fragrance to it, or it's not fragrance, smell to it. Um, and it's really calming to your skin when you're thinking about inflammation, things like that. It's super calming to your skin. And then we're gonna do 15 drops each, copaiba, geranium, frankincense, and yarrow palm, which is a nutritive duo of yarrow um, oil and palm, pomegranate seed oil put together. Um, you're gonna notice with the blue tansy that it has a blue. Yeah, I was to looking it. at that. The rim is like that. <laughs> yeah, as well as Yara Palm. So it's a constituent called schmazoline. So it does not make you look like a Smurf. If you apply them directly to your skin solo, you will have that blue um, glow for just a few minutes, but it will be absorbed into your skin. I'm guessing this one. But Madagascar vanilla is also a slow drip. It is a slow drip, yes. <laughs> but then once it starts, it goes pretty quick. It goes, yes. So I'll keep talk or keep <laughs> filling this with the amount that you told me to. Yeah. And if you want to tell us a little bit about incorporating gua sha yes. into it. Yeah, so uh, gua sha we were talking about became really big when we were all at home a few years ago and learning how to take care of ourselves and what to do with our time. So this is an old beauty ancient routine. I'm using a stone and you can you usually have different angles to it and it is a way to help your lymphatic system drain it's a way to help increase circulation it's kind of like a natural botox mm -hmm. but you want to have a base with it because you don't want to be gliding on uh, on skin that doesn't have an oil on it. Otherwise it's gonna be pulling and that's exactly what you don't want. Right. And so I love using this serum as a base. And then I use this Yarrow Palm with coconut oil. It's just a thicker carrier. It's not really great for your skin on your face because it's so thick, but neck down, it's awesome. So you can use that neck down. And I love to use Gua Sha on my neck starting up and then on my face. And you're just always gonna like grab your skin and pull it back gently. And you can look up YouTube videos um, or this is Wildling has some really great tutorials on it as well. I actually like to use it to massage my TMJ. Yeah, it is Those great. Those muscles. Yes. Yep. You can, and you can get different stones that are specific that have like a larger knob on them to massage your jaw muscles because we do carry a lot of tension there. Yeah, it just you makes do, it feel better. Yes. And you can gua sha on your body to help with cellulite, breaking that up, all of those things. So with that gua sha tool, tool, you have like a ribbed edge on it too. Do you yeah. use that side or is that just for I looks? Do. No, I use it as like an eraser on like the 11 <laughs> right here. Yeah. Or like on my forehead, like where you have wrinkles because it helps to break up that stagnation there okay. and those, those deep formations and then you smooth it out. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Okay, so I have the essential oils and how yes. much of this was I supposed 15. to add? 15. Yep. 15 of these. Tell me yep. a little bit about spot treatments too. Yeah, so we all have blemishes that come up. Sometimes they're more frequent at certain times of the month. A couple of my favorite spot treatments is a blend of HD Clear. This one is amazing if you have super acne prone skin um, and using that where you have it or if you have bacne, if you're an athlete, um, you could use it in that way as well or tea tree. 
It's a natural astringent. And so it smells like super cleansing. It's great for skincare as well. And I just tip it, put my finger on it, and I call it, I do like a kiss of a drop. And then I put it wherever I have that blemish on my face. So you just need a tiny bit. You just need a tiny bit. And I don't usually put a carrier with it. You could, but I, I typically don't because I'm just like, pimple be gone. Like, right. I think I done. remember in college, like putting so much tea tree oil <laughs> on my face, overdoing it. And oh. I don't think that was probably that oh. great. Well, because as an astringent, it's going to be drying. Right. And so you want it to be drying to that spot, but not to your whole face without right. another moisturizer. Exactly. Yeah. What could we do for under eye bags? For under eye bags, I love Blue Tansy Solo. And remember, like I said, it has that schmazzling, so it's gonna be blue for a little bit, but it's very hydrating. It's also super restorative. It's gonna help decrease that puffiness there. And then if it's super puffy, you can grab a gua sha stone and just pull like that very gently to help smooth it out. Is there a certain time of day that's better to gua sha? Or does it not really matter? Um, in the morning is typically, if you have time, when we carry most of the inflammation. Yeah. Um, but sometimes life is really busy. So there are times where I do it at night because the morning flew by and we're rushing out of the door. Right, exactly. Yeah. And then you also have things for like brightening. Yes. Brightening spots up and a yep. neck down. Yes, yep, yep. So this brightening gel is amazing for any sun damage. Um, helping with those spots that I've just noticed as I've gotten older, like... I thought I took good care of my skin and like, oh wait, there's some like spotting happening in different spots. So using this there, I also love this Immortel blend before I apply my moisturizer. Um, and I just put that on where I have like wrinkles helping with brightening as well. And then the Yarrow Palm with the coconut oil for neck down on my hands. It's super hydrating in the winter too. I've definitely heard about people using coconut oil before. Yeah. Even in their hair. Yes. There's yes. a lot of different ways that you can use it, but we are yeah. out of time. But thank you so much for coming in and demonstrating yeah. how to create different serums and spot treatments. So thank yes, you. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Stick around. We have more Kelloland Living coming up after the break.